Welcome back guys, um, we're going to continue on, I guess, the journey with my 3D printing. Uh, we're going to talk about the continuation from the last one, about tension on the Y, and I've printed the rear one now. We're going to talk about how you can remotely view your machine via Skype. Uh, we're going to talk about how it fell apart. Uh, we're going to talk about heat, and we're going to talk about uh, dolly fan breakages. So, in the last video, I added these tensioners to it, which worked, but I made mention that by adding this one, you got rid of one flexible piece of acrylic down here, which you can't see. One of those. But you, the ones on the far end still remained. So I printed out a stiffening part and added that on, and that significantly improved the springiness of it so I definitely recommend that anyone that does this you need to add the one on the back now I have um, had a bit of a laugh because I set up remote monitoring of my machine because I print in the garage or the garage depending on where you are in the world uh, and um, I was sick to death of coming in and out in and out because it's an external garage and it's winter here and it's rainy and cold uh, so you can set up Skype as a new user and you can call it and you can set Skype up to automatically answer the phone call and start the video which was a really really awesome way of monitoring your designs and I'll show you how to do that now but <laughs> I was sitting at work one day watching my designs and I was like ah, the camera seems to be really out of focus it's just really weird because like the frame seems to be all right it's obviously focusing on the frame of the printer and not actually the job and i got home and i was like oh, it finished obviously and i got home and I, was, I went out to the garage and got my part and i found out that it yes it had printed my job but it had printed it very shaggy dog like like very badly which is actually a bit hard to see on the camera because it's black and that was had I had my eyes on the screws under here had actually all fallen off so the whole top aluminium plate was basically just sitting in there and gravity was holding it which meant that it could move around a little bit and it kind of created this kind of printed kind of nasty steaming pile of rubbish print <laughs> But like I said, it was the funny thing about it was because I had remotely um, viewing it, I was like, well, it's kind of working, but kind of out of focus. But it's like that's why. And it's like, man, if I had it, my eyes open in the video, it actually shows these screws, and I would have been able to tell that it had fallen out. One of the reasons why I wanted to set up the camera is because I've had a few crazy prints. I've thrown most of them away now, where they have failed for various reasons. The print job not adhering to here, coming off or cool, um, wrecking the alignment. So it's just a huge waste of filament and time. So I wanted to do that. Now this, I uh, moving on. I have got my polystyrene enclosure. Yes, <laughs> with my sheet. Now I really can't get over how much uh, maintaining a constant temperature makes to the quality of the print. Uh, now it's something that's virtually impossible for me to show you I think on the on the camera um, but this is one here that I printed and it's it's all right but I made it again and the only change that I made was to put uh, my enclosure back on and we need to remember that this takes 24 hours to print and I'm in a uninsulated metal garage which goes from below zero to uh, mid 25 ish C temperatures and that definitely has an effect on the print quality so I remade this again in my enclosure and that made it pretty much perfect I've got a few other pieces of polystyrene that I put across here and I actually leave a gap to let some of the air out as I mentioned before, um, if you completely contain this and get, let it get too hot, then the filament jams in the pipe 
all your acrylic parts turn into bananas <laughs> actually probably the uh, PLA parts would go before the acrylic now so you have to kind of keep an eye on that how hot and that's why I've got the sheet because you can add additional insulation for really cold nights um, now I've talked about this fan in the past it is the bane of my life it keeps breaking and falling off and the main reason for that is that when you print a job it returns to here when you're trying to remove the job from the the bed uh, you kind of push it backwards or left or right and you end up when it springs off hits the fan and breaks that off so I've had to glue that a few times but I would never recommend that fan style because that's too far away from the actual nozzle to be too much helpful uh, in my very first video I talked about the alignment of the Y and how you could take the the Y play out of it and at least in my vision I'm, I was quite correct however even at the time I thought well hang on if there is space for alignment or movement what will prevent in the future from the bolts just being able to, to push apart and that's a problem I definitely have so now I have play which I didn't originally and that pretty much comes from trying to get the print jobs off of the bed it's that just so hard to get off a lot of a lot of the time that the amount of movement left and right to get it off ends up slowly loosening this now I've had to re-tighten this but it's, uh, it's so hard for me to get I can't really get this off and that off and then having enough space to pull this off the rail to re-tighten them because of course the belt now I could remove the belt but I didn't so there is a a Y brace that just kind of clips up there but I still think that's not the best design you actually need a way of tensioning that however I oddly think that the fact that this has some play in it now this is too much play actually helps it to print I have an awful lot of problems with curling now this is not an example of curling but if you printed that like that I know what this looks like thanks guys I, I hated it too and then I decided actually it looks like Pac-Man and I'm happy with that um, but curling uh, which is, didn't happen to this but it's a good piece where it starts curling up here it's, it's, it sticks to the I didn't print it this direction but I'm just using this it would print perfectly flat on the on the base and the base would stick fine and up to about here everything was fine but then the corners of sharp things started curling up now the advantage of having some given this is that as this curls up the head obviously is a constant height would actually be able to ride over the curl that happens because the the, the bed would move a bit which helps the prints to not fail because if this was re really rigid and you had a lot of curl the head would just bang into it and then you'd lose steps or of course it would just knock this off of the bed if that's possible which in some of my cases it was uh, so interestingly enough I think uh, although it's not the greatest design it was interesting that it actually has a somewhat uh, benefit by having some play in it and I've removed the springs out of this to harden it up which I do recommend people do and of course having the springs would enable some movement but really you want to remove all of the movement from it especially when you're printing biggish tall things so that's all we really have for today hopefully that's been helpful uh, those are some of the things I've printed and it will ah oh yes the other thing is I did replace this I talked about replacing this which comes on here now it's because the the tube that goes through there uh, had a bit of movement now you obviously can't see that well actually you can but it was actually worse than that because it had about that much movement in it which of course is affecting its ability to retract in and out quickly so I got a six millimeter one and uh, like the one that goes on here 
and that definitely grips it a whole lot better so that amount of play is gone all right guys i shall see you on the next one subscribe if you want don't subscribe if you don't like me if you want uh if you don't like me like me anyway because <laughs> you do like me bye bye